Okay, working on a 2004 Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, complaint is check engine light. No drivability concerns. Uh, little noisy on cold startup, they said. Uh, let's take it to the scan tool, see what we got. Okay, so got a few trouble codes here. Um, the one I'm going to focus on is this PO411 secondary air injection system incorrect flow detected. Um, don't worry about these other ones. Focusing on the PO411. So a couple things we can do to start is do a few bi-directional controls. Okay, so it, it already go it automatically goes into it. So right now it's activating the purge valve. We're gonna hit next. Secondary air injection solenoid valve. There's a solenoid that controls, controls the vacuum to the switching valve. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. You can hear it clicking. That tells us we have control to that. It doesn't necessarily mean it's good, but um, idea where you know to start so right now we're activating the secondary air pump relay and um, I can hear a leak so the problem with this is that it's only going to energize this pump for the 30 seconds after that we have to go we have to start the engine cycle the key and then go back into the scan tool it's uh, kind of a pain and now it's on to other things. So we're going to exit. Um, it sounds like we have a leak. Okay, so the problem with that test is that it only activates it for 30 seconds. And then the scan tool acts a little goofy. Okay, so what we're going to do, basically, here's our secondary air relay. This is our power supply relay for the ECM. What we're going to do is manually energize this to run the air pump and check for leaks. All right, so here is our secondary air relay. I have my test light connected to battery negative. When I receive a power, the test light lights. So conventional relay operation, I should have two powers. Um, with this one, you have to have the engine running for the computer to send the power on the control side of this relay. It is ground side switch, but you have to have it running in order for it to send the power. So right here, test light lights, that's one power. And it's kind of hard to see, but down here, my test light lights. So that tells me this is the feed. On the load side, this is the feed on the control side. And all I need to do to give this a ground is touch this and you can hear my air pump run. One more time. Let the camera picking that up. <clears throat> Very simple, you just need to know how this relay works and what wires go to where. I have my test light connected to battery negative or ground. It's connected to ground. Test light lights um, to give this relay a ground, which is what it needs to energize. I'm just going to put my test light on the ground side and you can hear the air pump come on. All right, so what we're gonna do, very simple, some soapy water. And spray it around all these secondary ear tubes. And I 
can hear the leak down here. The air pumps down there. Get the light. Um, these air pumps are known for the rivets to break and it'll actually leak through the pump. Kind of hard to see down there. Well, my light's dying too now. Okay. Air pump's down there, I'm gonna have to pick this up. Spray some water down there. All right, so I got the car up off the ground, have the shield down, and here is our air pump. I don't know if you can see that, but a couple of those rivets are already broke on the bottom, uh, really suggesting that this is where our leak is. So I'm just gonna spray this down with some water and energize my relay and see if we can get some bubbles. Leaking out of the air pump. Coming out of there. Okay, so one more thing I want to show you. Try to check this combination valve or the switching valve. Um, it's vacuum controlled by that solenoid that we initially energized. And um, it's as simple as putting a vacuum pump, a uh, manual vacuum pump, which I have here, and just opening it. And there's two ways you could do this. Um, you could take this hose off right here that goes directly to the combination valve and you can, you'll hear the exhaust pulsing through that. Or um, you can, what I'm gonna do, or I can do it both ways, but what I'm gonna do is manually open this with my vacuum pump and I'm going to energize this relay and the air pump is going to fill my exhaust with air and it's going to make my short term go super rich and my O2 should read super lean. So pretty cool test. So let's okay so I'm going to manually energize this relay right here with my vacuum pump holding this combination valve open and my O2 should go lean and my short term fuel trim should go very positive. So I'm applying a vacuum to my combination valve. I can already hear the exhaust pulse. And right now, I'm gonna energize this relay. You can see my short term, positive 20, my O2, super lean. That tells us our combination valve works. Um, and the other simple test would be just to disconnect this hose right here. It goes straight to the combination valve. Let me get this disconnected. And you put the camera up next to it. And when I squeeze this open, you can hear that exhaust pulsing through that. So that tells us our combination valve works. Uh, you don't have to do it with the scan tool, uh, just a cool test, I thought. So, um, secondary air pump leaking through the rivets. Uh, pretty cool test. So, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.